Joining me here in Peabody following his team's tough 4 2 loss to the Gloucester Fishermen, Peabody coach Mark Bettencourt. Mark, that was a tough one. It was a great comeback in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, we should have done it a little bit earlier in the game. Put a little more pressure on them, but uh, Kid pitched a great game. Uh, the lefty kept us off balance, mixed his pitches, uh, executed when he had to execute. Uh, we had runners in scoring position. He bared down and worked his way out of some, uh, some jams early that kept the momentum on, on their side. You know, certainly a lot of, a lot of coaches and, and fans go, oh, okay, bottom of the, bottom of the yard, 8-9 coming up to start the inning, advantage goes to the pitcher, but your 8-9 hit is start of the inning. And that's, that's what the team's all about. You know, your bottom of the order has, has to produce at some point uh, to set up that top of the order, and they did a nice job of doing that in that last inning. You know, you, you mentioned uh, uh, John John uh, pitched a great game for Gloucester, but D'Angelo, for you, uh, pitched up a whale of a game as well, only gave up five hits. Well, I think this is a second game in a row for us where we've had two pitchers go out and pitch uh, probably their best high school games and walk away with losses. So, um, game's a funny game. You know, I think Alex did a great job of keeping a very good hitting team uh, off the board. I think uh, I think every run they scored uh, was unearned. I, I believe they all came on uh, wild pitches and throwing errors. So, they didn't hit Alex. Uh, we've more or less gave them some runs that uh, they probably didn't deserve. Yeah, it's one of the things that the, it's just the way that the game turns. It's 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 a throw that doesn't get made. Uh, I know that doesn't get taken, and uh, they come back to haunt you. But that takes, that takes nothing away from the game that Gloucester played. I think they played a great game from from start to finish. When the pressure was on there, they turned a, a you know a very difficult uh, pressure type double play, and um, you know, we had the right guys up, and uh, you know. Today was another day. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that lots of fans were, were there thinking about, okay, about eight, eight, nine, one, and all of a sudden we're in the middle of the yard, and, and it, it could get really touchy there. And that's the way we want things to be. That's the way we want the middle of the road to be, uh, to be thought of. And uh, it was just we, we'll come through. I mean, it's, 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 if you're gonna if you're gonna struggle, now's the time to struggle. Uh, you're already into the into the tournament. Uh, what's up for the rest of the week? We get Malden Catholic tomorrow night, and then uh, doesn't get any easier next week with Austin Prep, who I see is highly ranked in the state. Uh, we have to go over to them on Monday. And we finish out our NEC uh, schedule with uh, Swamp on Wednesday before the Junior's tournament here, Memorial Day weekend. Great. Thanks, Mark, for the time, and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much.